so where you will be building initially on which data you will be building the dashboards which environment you will be using so these are the interview questions asked as well like on which environment you are being you are working on how many environments on which environment you are building the dashboards getting or not so one environment is there called as uat environment we also called it as staging environment and full form of uat is nothing but user access acceptance test environment so what is a uat environment and what is a production environment we will discuss these two things separately so first is uat environment so always remember uat environment is a environment where dummy data or test data will be present okay so whenever you will be onboarded your data collection is done everything is done with business requirement gathering is done domain knowledge is studied terminologies are studied the data connections are taken requirement gathering is done problem statement is finalized everything is done and now you are starting building of your reports and your dashboards what is happening client will never give you their original or production data okay. they will never give you your real time data they will give you the dummy data or we call it as a staging data or uat data or test data we call it right so they will give you some amount of test data which will be similarly or we it will be a duplicate of your production or real time data just some values will be changed okay and what your client will be asking use this data and first build your report okay and it will be built on uat environment or a testing environment so what you will do you will be building your reports on first uat environment you will do all the data connections data cleaning you will do then you will start building your data sources okay you will connect to your ms sql server or mysql or you will be connecting to your cloud services like azure or aws or gcps you will start building the reports you will do the dashboard building okay let's say you have built two dashboards okay your requirement was that your client is asking that first build these two dashboards on priority you are building these two dashboards and then you are publishing it on uat server uat server is nothing but it may be power bi service uat server or a tableau uat server and when you are publishing those reports on the server so whenever i am saying your server guys always remember reports are always published on servers only from there only it is visible to clients or multiple users or multiple stakeholders right so when it is pushed on uat server testing is always done okay so now this part is very very much important okay and many people ask me why sql is important here is i will tell you why sql is important so unit testing is done by developer now what does unit testing mean by unit testing means what few data is tested by developer itself right because whenever you are creating any charts or any graphs you can create a graph graph is showing some value that 100k sale is there 200k sale is there but how how do you compare or how do you how are you sure that that value is correct only really? so basic level of testing is done that is cross checking is done that whether this particular value is correct or not so unit testing is done complete testing is also done it is either done by developer itself like our, us people itself or it will be done by our qa team okay so now whenever you are doing a testing always remember sql is used for testing i mean to say let's see you have built this report i will show you let's say this is a bank loan report which you have built okay everything is built over here so like these values are shown mtd is shown mom is shown you can see different values are shown over here so how how come you will be 100% sure that this value is correct only because power bi will show anything value tableau will show any value 86.2 percentage is a good loan percentage how come i will be sure that this value is correct only client also need some confirmation that tableau reports are correct only they are 100% proven and then and then they will use it so for that always remember testing is always done and that testing is either done by you or either done by your qa team okay so now it depends if the company is big if your reporting team is big if your uh, tableau team or power bi team is big then what happens a bigger company keeps a dedicated qa person but if it is a small scale company you have to only do the qa on that and for doing this qa you have to check these values these values are checked by firing sql queries to the database okay so you know what is the problem statement you have to write the sql query based on that particular requirement 
you have to fire the query to your sql and then sql will be giving you the result you have to compare that result with this result and then and then you will be sure that yeah this value is correct and then you can use sign off to that particular chart and this is done on each and everything which is present on this particular dashboard getting or not filters are also tested each and every filter is tested and when filtering is done values will be changing those values are also correct everything is tested getting a note and this is called data validation first functional validation means what whenever i am operating this dashboard right so let's say i am looking for a good load so whether these functions are changing whether this filter is changing or not okay so means what the dashboard is functionally working or not right so in this way you have to check if dashboard is functionally working or not let's say you are going for uh, when i'm selecting this all let's select this all and let's say i will go to overview dashboard so means what let's say when i click to this particular part of the chart you can see other parts are also changing likewise so these are what functional validation so means what your dashboard is functionally correctly working or not right so you have to do both functional and data validation then what happens you are giving your all the data validation your reports is given to the client and on client side also there are some testers are there right if required so if client wants to keep some testing unit at their side they will do some basic level of testing and if they find that reports are correct every sql query unit testing complete qa testing is correct then and then they will give you the sign off sign off means what they will say yeah okay the dashboard is correct all right if client says that no no something is wrong in this particular chart these values are not correct this color is not correct this chart type is not correct the layout is not correct it will always come back to you you have to make those changes again you have to unit test again you have to qa again it will go to client this to and fro is always happening until and unless client is giving or client is accepting those reports okay and this is all these things are done on testing environment uat environment only there are questions asked in interview on which environment you are working and when you say uat environment and production environment they will ask you what is uat what is environment and what is production right so when the uat environment client is giving you the sign off when client is approving the products on uat environment then production environment come into play what does production environment means here your real time data is present the data which client is real time uh, it generated that data is production uh, is present on production environment and once a uat sign off is given all the reports are published to production environment okay all reports and data sources is published on production environment and on production environment you don't do complete testing because the data on production environment is real uat environment was also it was a duplicate data but it was similar structure of data which production environment has just the values and numbers are changing over there next you are doing smoke test or sanity test smoke test many of you might be knowing it is mainly done by you or a qa team so smoke test smoke test is nothing but you are just checking at higher level if the reports are performing well functionally uh, working well uh, sanitization is done i mean to say like if the reports are performing well on production environment you are good to go and you are you can say it to your client that yeah production uh, reports are pushed you can start using the reports then client will say that give us the presentation of the report tell me how the reports are working how to operate these reports then you are uh, asked to give a presentation to the client where you will tell the client how the reports are working how to operate the reports what are the insights generated in the reports from your side you have to tell what are the insights generated the in the reports and then client start using this reports getting or this is the overall procedure the procedure is same if let's say the report is present in production environment and there is change in the report right like he says that you have to change this particular chart change this particular chart or add a new chart in that particular report same procedure will be followed you have to do it first in uat environment do all the testing a client sign off and then it is pushed on production environment so these procedures are always followed guys you should know this all right so i hope you have understood